What now? You sweating yet, Dutch? Of course I'm sweating. We're in some disease-ridden, swampy, Dixie-whistling shithole. <laughs> uh, I meant about what Trelawney said about these bounty hunters. I'm not sweating as such, but maybe a little gentle perspiration. Until we know more, ain't too much harm in wasting good liquor on sweating. So? So, I think you should pay Mr. Trelawney a visit and find out exactly what he knows and who he spoke to. Take Charles with you. Oh, the sight of the pair of you would make a statue sing out its secrets. Okay. Charles, I need you for some business in town. Come on. Okay. Anyway, you were saying? Dutch wants us to have a talk with Trelawney about these bounty hunters who are coming for us. Hoping he can tell us who they are or where they're coming from. Hold up a second. Okay. And you're deputies now. <laughs> Something like that. As soon as we laid eyes on that fool of a sheriff who runs that town, I knew Dutch was gonna play him like a fiddle. On the run from one bunch of lawmen, working for another. Interesting. Hiding in plain sight, Dutch calls it. <laughs> mm. So, spirits seem good. In the new camp, I mean. Hey, what are you doing? Reckon it's that one with the fire outside. Let's take a look. Someone got here first. So it seems. There's some blood here. That ain't good. This food's barely touched. Looks like he left in a hurry.
The bed's not made, so he must have been here recently. Big struggle. Pretty recently, Look, I'd say. Trust maybe uh, 12 Come hours on. ago. But no body? Not yet. Yep. Huh. They went down the path here. How's your tracking these days? All right, I guess. <laughs> well, lead the way then. Not the kind of place I'd expect to see Trelawney staying in. No? Normally scams himself into the best hotel in town. You know, when me and Javier went down with Trelawney to get Sean after the bar fight, I swear, he talked the whole way. Ugh. And never actually said a damn thing. I thought you knew. That's his special talent. They could be 20 miles away by now. We can track them that far if we need to. Depends on how much you want to find them. Yeah. I still ain't sure about that. Hey, look. Let's go see what those fellas have to say. Excuse me. Yeah. Uh, have you seen him? <clears throat> we're, uh, we're looking for our friend. I don't think he's here. Ah, <laughs> uh, you seen a strange sort of fella? Sort of formal? Strange? Sure. Formal? Nah. He uses a cane. Looks a lot like this one. Yeah. All right, you two. Where the hell is he? You both better get out of here. Come here. Yeah. Uh. Trelawney. I don't know anything. Tell me where he is. You go to hell. You better tell me now, you son of a bitch. Okay. Okay, for Christ's sake. They took him to a cabin over by the cornfields. Which cornfields? Left. Down the path there by Braithwaite Manor. Come on, let's go. Follow me. I think there's a way around so we don't have to go through the Braithwaite's place. Yes. I've spent enough time there. After you, then. You okay? I'm good. What do you think they want with Trelawney? Could be any one of a hundred things. Just depends if any of them involve us. You think he'll talk? Of course he'll talk. He'd sell his own sister to save a train fare. He don't know how not to talk. He don't know where we're holed up, though. At least I don't think he does. I don't know why Dutch still deals with him. Always disappearing for weeks on end. He's got his uses, and, well, loyalty matters to Dutch. Of course. But is Trelawney loyal? Yeah, kind of. I guess Trelawney ain't exactly disloyal. Just got a big mouth. Don't worry. If he talked, I'll goddamn find out what he said. Nothing's ever straightforward where Trelawney's involved. I learned that much. I mean, how much time have we wasted getting this fool out of trouble? He somehow manages to be both lucky and unlucky at the same time. <laughs> That's one way of looking at it. 
but he always finds some way to pay us back. Just when we think about cutting him loose, he brings us something big. I guess that's his special talent, keeping fish on the line. Must be it. Let's get you out of here. Come on, boy. The thing is, after that sack, this will be remembered like a good time. Put the man down, gentlemen. Uh, 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 is that a lot of them? I, I think so. Uh, so you're uh, alive. Allegedly. Well, don't worry, they won't be for much longer. Okay, go get them, Arthur. I can handle this. Who knows what he told them? Let's get after those sons of bitches.
I see something on the ground over here. He's dumped his gear. Look around. He can't have gone far. He's mine! Let me take him. Let me get out of here. You have my friend. He's not your friend. I'll give you money. Be quiet. Come on. He, he should have taken the money. I know. I'm a fool. Uh, shit. Thank you. Of course. You okay? Yeah. I'm fine. The gunshots are coming from that barn! Come on! Should be the last of them. <sighs> all right, let's go back for Trelawney. You all right? Yeah. Never goes easy, does it? Sure don't. Come on, let's go see how badly they beat up the slippery fella. I wonder how much trouble he's brought with him. <laughs> Guess we'll soon find out. Seems like we can't catch a break now, Arthur. Our luck's held this long. We got out of worse scrapes than this one. Mm, so I heard. <laughs> sure. What's government agents and bounty hunters to us? Uh, I hope you're right. Hope that hat don't have lice. Mr. Tr Tony, where are you? Over here, dear boy. Well, he's still here at least. Put your feet up, why don't you? You okay? Never finer. So, who was they? Uh, they were bounty hunters. Uh, attached to Cole Stoudemire. Okay. They weren't looking for me. No. What'd you tell them? Not much. I told them I was an intellectual. Come down here from Oregon, looking for a job at the university. Of course, they didn't believe me. Seems you stirred up quite a hornet's nest in Blackwater. So I keep here. It might be best if I stay with you gentlemen for a while. Can't go back to that caravan now. All right, Charles. You take Trelawney back to camp. I'll catch up with you. Okay. Bounty hunters, Pinkertons, lawmen. Everywhere we go, there's more and more civilization. Perhaps this is it from now on. We shall see, I guess.
ain't forgotten you. you want? You okay? <laughs> Do I look okay? <laughs> no. You look awful. <clears throat> awful. Look at me. Useless. I wasn't born to this. I didn't deserve this. I used to be a gentleman. Jeremiah Compson. Compson Stead. Good for you. If that's anything to boast about. They took everything from me. Who did? They! And what did they take? My whole life. A whole way of living, a career. I stole a lot of things, but that's quite a lot to steal. Look at me here, living in the shit and the mud. I'm sorry. <laughs> my old house. The house my grandfather built. It's all dilapidated and destroyed, repossessed by the bank. I'm no, sorry to hear that. I was supposed to live a different life. Me too. If only I could get my old things back. Personal mementos, a watch, old pistol, my ledger. Where's this house again? Compson Stead. So north of... Scarlet Meadows. <laughs> Banks says I can't go near it. I'm living rough over by Aris Field. Well, if I'm ever out that way, I'll see what I can do. Time. Time is hell. you I'd leave. This town lost its goddamn soul a long time ago. <laughs> Nothing but nasty, miserable people. Yeah? Yeah, ever since them, them greys moved here. They a bunch of no-good white trash. Yeah, they, they somehow got rich. About 50 years ago, they moved here, caused a whole heap of trouble. Yeah, yeah reckon they was, reckon they was Yankee spies during the war and everything. That's so. Yeah, sure. Come on, girl. You okay there, mister? You need me to move. Move? I am. I'm sitting in the wrong place. Excuse me? No, I didn't mean any offense, sir. Please. I don't get your meaning. I'm very sorry, sir. You have yourself a fine day, and I apologize for any offense I may have inadvertently caused. What are you drinking, mister? Nothing, sir. Nothing at all. Why are you acting so strange? I don't mean to. I'm sorry for any offense. How could you have offended me? I have no idea. But I had no idea how I offended the last fellas. And they stole my wagon on account of my impudence. Stole your wagon for back check? Mm, they didn't like my medical practice, I suppose. I was helping folk. And that wasn't popular? I was undercutting the competition. Or I was too colored. Or I was 
irritating in nature, or I was some know-it-all big city slicker here to demean some good old boys of my fine words. The exact variety of my sins was the source of some conjecture, so they undercut me. Well, that ain't very nice. That was my impression. Still, compared to the gutting, castration, defenestration, and crucifixion they offered me, I felt I got off lightly. Imaginative bunch. Yes. But no great love of my medical practice. Too free with my wisdom and services. <sighs> Which way they go? Down the road, that away. Stay here. I'm sort of forced to. Please don't go to any trouble on my account. Mm-hmm. Are you looking for that fellow's wagon? I heard them say they was taking it to Macomb's Inn. Okay, thanks. <laughs>
tank. That all of you? Did not count on seeing that wagon again. Nor you, for that matter. Only people you won't be seeing are the folks who took it. Uh, I take it they aren't the only ignorant bullying clodhoppers in these parts. But I can live in glorious hope. Now, it wasn't a trouble now, was it? No, it was a pleasure. Well, let me give you something for your pleasure. Ah, what we got here. Ah, how about this? Provide a man a tincture, he'll be well for a day. Teach him to make one, he might be well a while longer. Well, I'll make sure to try and make this. Thank you. <sighs> Thank you. It won't work for anything chronic, but you may not need it to. Well, if you see me on my travels and you're in need of something, make sure you come and say hello. Travel safe now.
Can I help you there? Sure. Those are supposed to be my business partners here. They arranged a meeting, I believe, about some horses. A fellow with a scar and a Mexican? Yes, sir. Out by the stables. Thank you. Have a wonderful day now. And you're helping everybody. And everywhere, there's trouble. Who are you? And have you met my partner, Arthur Morgan? No. I met your son, the sheriff. Okay. Mr. Gray here was saying how he had problems with a family. A family of degenerates. Oh, well, nobody likes degenerates. The hag and her inbred sons. They ruined this county. They killed my uncle, you know. That ain't right. Problem is, we can't be seen to get too close. And? We've got gold, Yankee. We've got gold. I ain't no Yankee, friend. I ain't nothing. My daddy came over on the boat from Scotland. I'm Scottish. And the Braithwaites? Goddamn peasants. I don't know. Mongrels. Slave fuckers. All you gotta do is look at them. How much gold? Enough. These are prized horses I'm talking about. Them, they'll get you 5,000. 5,000 for horses? Easy. And where do we sell them, these $5,000 horses? Over in Clemens Cove. Fell over there, we'll run them out of state and give you 50 cents on the dollar. Mister, you got yourself a deal. Just keep us away from this. Publicly, I mean. My sense is we keep all horse wrestling away from the public. Go to the stables on the south side of the manor. That's where they keep the thoroughbreds. There we go. Yeah, passing you. Okay. Tranquilo. Crazy old fool. You should see the Braithwaite woman. Jose and Sean were planning on going over to the Braithwaite. Haven't seen them? No, not yet. If they're there already, they better keep their heads down. Don't need this to be any more complicated than it already is. $5,000 for horses. We've been robbing the wrong folk all these years. Yeah. He doesn't know what he's talking about. But if we get even a third of that, it'll be worth it. So how are we going to play this? The place is well guarded, so there ain't no point in blasting in there. Make them think we're there looking to purchase. Three armed men? You'd be armed if you were about to spend 5,000 on horses. We should go in the back way, though. Avoid too many questions. Careful. There's a guard. I'll speak to him, okay? <sighs> All right, then. Can I help you, gentlemen? Yeah, we're here to see about some horses. Horses? Yeah, we had a, an appointment with Mr. Braithwaite, I believe. Yeah, I never heard about any of this. Our partner wanted to make a significant investment in some stables down here. But perhaps we should look elsewhere. Well, I... 
Okay then, let's head on up to the stables. Someone will come see you. That's it. Nice and easy. No need to rush. Don't want to draw any unnecessary attention. I think that's the stables just up ahead. Heads down, play cool. We'll head around the front, hitch up there. Easy. All right, let's hitch up here. Let me do the talking. Hello there. Can I help you boys? I hope so. Heard you got some horses. We always got horses. Fine horses, I mean. I don't get you, friend. Yeah, you do. Come on. Listen, why don't you get out of here? You, Scarface, and your greaser buddy. Whoa! I don't like officials. We ain't officials. We're connoisseurs looking to do some breedings. Come on now, partner. OK, fine. Follow me. These here's mainly the studs available for purchase or for working. If that's what you're interested in. What is you boys interested in? We represent a famous uh, stable and stud farm from uh, Saratoga. Is that so? Unofficially. Of course. Well, this here's Cerberus. Here you go, boy. Uh huh. Three, sir. Huh? Okay. Bandana's on. Don't need nobody recognizing us. All right, I'll grab the white one in the middle. You get the other two. Relax, boy. Come on. Good boy. Be easy. Easy, Be easy now. Whoa. Marston, you're going to tether him up to Javier's horse. OK. Javier, you're going to lead the stallions. You'll be all right. <laughs> Easy. It's okay. It's all right. Easy. You're okay. Okay, tough guy. You're okay, boy. Whoa. Whoa. Easy. Whoa. This here's Cerberus. Here you go, boy. Ah, uh, greaser, huh? Okay. Bandana's on. Don't need nobody recognizing us. All right, I'll grab the white one in the middle. You get the other two. Relax, boy. Come on. Good boy. Easy there now. Easy. Hey, easy now. Marston, you're gonna tether him up to Javier's horse. Okay. Javier, you're gonna lead the stallions. Marston, you ride point. I'll cover up the back. If there's any problems, we regroup at Clemens Cove. Okay. What are you doing? Let's go, quick! Go, get out of here! I got the back! What the hell are you doing? Stop! Stop! You may have I say stop these men! Stop!
us to Clement's Cove. Quick, before we run into any more trouble. Well, you okay there, boy? Shit! One of the stallions is loose! Keep going! I'll get him! Yeah. Just over there, come on. Let's get this over with. Well, that could have gone smoother. That'll be on my gravestone. You think they look like they're paying 5,000 for horses? <laughs> I guess we'll see. Boys want. Heard you was, uh, heard you paid good prices for horses. Oh, we'll buy more or less anything, Pop. That so? Sure, Pop. I'm Clay Davies. That's my brother Clive. We're twins. John, Arthur, Javier. <clears throat> so what are you? Cuban? No, I don't like Cubans. That so? Maybe. Well, what do you care? You ain't Cuban. Maybe I like Cubans. <laughs> Ooh, you're funny. He's funny. Ain't he funny, Clive? Clive don't talk. We're twins, but I was born first. He came out all yellow and black, but he's okay. Uh, sure. Yeah, I know these horses. They, they ain't yours, but I like you, and I'll give you... I can give you 654. <laughs> I was told we could get up to $5,000 for them. And I was told the moon was made of ladies' tears. Only it ain't true. Not one little bit. But... I like you boys. But I ain't got more than 700 on me. You want it, or you want to ride them fellers into town, and maybe someone there will hang you. We're gonna need more than that. I ain't got no more money, Pop. Here, take it or leave it. Uh-huh. All right. You goddamn fool, Marston. Ain't no one around here got $5,000, boys, but nice meeting you. See you boys again, I hope. Come on. Yeah. Close the gate, Clive. Believe the yarn spun us by one of that Gray family. Imagined we was gonna be wonderfully rich. At the end of it, we felt like prize idiots. 